a good one. Only lasted two and two-third innings against Eastern Kentucky, and that's a one-nothing ball game. As the leadoff batter, Trey Brightis, goes deep. That is his 11th home run of the year, and there is no question about that. Well up into the parking lot. As you see, the 6'3", 220-pound senior from Woodbridge, Virginia, came in batting 292, got off to a horrible start this year, just two hits in his first 25 at-bats. But he has turned it up a couple notches and starts his game off with a blast. But coming into today was batting 324 since, and he rips this one to left outer. Will play it on a high hop, and Bright is three for three as he continues his torrid hitting here towards the end of the season. That three game series for the Norse, he set career highs in innings pitched. I uh, should say season eyes and innings pitched hits and strikeouts. There's a look at the lineup he will be facing. And we had a wild win here yesterday in the opening game of this series, a 16-13 win for the North. Seven home runs hit in total. And Sam Williams' first pitch is ripped down the line in left field by Trey Brightus, who led off yesterday's game with a home run. He'll start today's contest with a double. And just like that on one pitch, we're underway in Youngstown State. Back at it again offensively. Bright has stepped in batting 307. He had three hits and a walk, make it four hits and a walk in yesterday's game, and including that leadoff home run. He has really been a hot hitter for these Penguins, if you can use hot and penguin in the same sentence. Last year to this year. Here's the 2 2 from a young Peter. High fly ball drilled to left. Brad Boss going back, and he's going to watch it go. A leadoff home run for Trey Brightus, his eighth of the year, and the Penguins, one batter in, have a 1 0 lead. Big time way to start this game for the Penguins. I'm telling you, it was because of this beautiful weather. He's tired of playing in the cold and rain and sleet. The sun came out, the guns came out. He put one over the fence to start the ball game. And that was not wind-aided at all. You could see the American flag in left center field sitting straight down. A no-doubter with the crack of the bat. Fly ball to left, driving Brad Boss back to the warning track. He leads up, and it's gone! Home run number two on the day for Trey Brightus. Look at that score, 17-11, Youngstown State. That puts him at nine home runs on the season and one really good afternoon for him in Northwest Ohio. The 1-0. It's a line drive in the left field. It actually goes to the track to the wall, and that ball's out of here. Home run brightest, and we're tied at one. He took it on a run, boy. He took it over the bullpen in left field, near the Youngstown State bus, as a matter of fact, down in left field. So we're tied at one. A lot more speed at the top of the lineup, and then a lot of power in the middle. Speaking of power, the liner into left field. Smith going back to track to the wall, and that ball's out of here. Bryce with a home run. Now it's 4-3 UIC. Here's Nasanti.
Brightis, another charge, deep to left. Zelensky with a beat on it to the wall, jumps and can't get this one. That's over the glove. Charles had to hold up a bit to make sure that ball wasn't caught, but this time Brightis is able to square up Lee. Second and third, one out, and the Penguins in business here in the fifth. That ball hit just a little bit sharper than the one that was to the moon in the first. And Zelensky, not sure if the sun got him on this one or he was worried about the wall, but just couldn't squeeze that one in. A rope double. Brightus has squared him up twice today at the top of the order for Youngstown State. Sent pitches to the left field wall in two of his three at-bats, the last one being a double. And that one is rocketed again. Long run back, Fitzgerald trying to get a beat on it to the wall and able to grab it on the track. Boy, Brightus has not been cheated on his swings today, but this one another allowed out. And a quick inning from Jake Lee as we stretch here at Dayton. One and one, here's the pitch. Outside part of the plate, strike two. Boy, Jay Peters... We've said it a lot, and we'll say it again. The outside part of the plate has been his friend. Yeah, Mark Spicer calling that strike right there. I don't believe. It's really not. It's really an unhittable pitch. I mean, with 1-1, one, one, you don't want to swing it that because, you know, you'll roll over and hit it, but it's a strike every time. 1-2 now to Brightus. Peters delivers. Curveball in the dirt. A nice hold by Trey Brightus. That was, that's a tough pitch to lay off of after you just see a strike on the outside part of the plate. Brightest battling here. Two and two now. Peters comes set again. Bases loaded in the seventh for YSU. Swung on, driven in the left field. This is going to get down. This will score a run. Hitting third and coming home is Willoughby. The play at the plate's not going to be there. And Trey Brightis with a two out, two RBI single. And the Penguins have cut the deficit to one. Really a clutch piece of hitting right there from Trey Brightis. Able to lay off some of those junk pitches there by Jay Peters. Wait on his pitch about midway through the zone. I think Peters was looking to hit that inside corner, sort of let that pitch hang a little bit, and Brightis made him pay. Good solid swing. Getting it out into left field, and two Penguins cross the dish. So See Pazzo's finishing just in case. So the payoff pitch to the leadoff hitter here in the second inning is a drive into center field and over the head of Popa. That'll bounce over the wall for a ground rule double. Big hit from Bridus and Youngstown State, a runner at second, nobody out. Well, the Penguins have come out swinging here. Their third hit already. This one, the first for extra bases. And that ball was pasted by Bridus off the bat. He just got all of that right on the screws and... So we're going to drop that one over the head of Popa, who was playing it a bit shallow and had a long run. I'll tell you what, Panthers may be catching a break there that that ball made it over the wall because that maybe would have been three. And a line drive. Base hit, and that's going to get passed right to the wall. Extra bases to lead off the inning for Youngstown State and Trey Bridus. His second double, the first, a ground roll double over the left center wall. That one smacked as well. That more of a line drive that just got out and rolled. And on this synthetic turf, it can do that where it can really get down and fly. And, you know, if that's natural grass, that ball maybe holds up enough for right to keep it to a single. But not on this kind of turf. Kick. Brightest smacks one in the left center, giving a look as Kaiser. It's at the wall. It's out of here. Trey Brightest with a two-out home run, and he ties the ball game up as Brightest gave it a ride to left center, just like his teammate Andrew Kendrick. And that's home run number eight on the season, RBI number 30 for Trey Brightest, and we're tied up at four. Well, my five to two. That game heading to the bottom of the sixth at Milwaukee. Sidearm pitch, and that's hit right back into the middle and center field base hit. So Brightus 
with the second hit, both of them have gone right back through the box and into center field. So the leadoff base runner for Youngstown State. Now here's Webb Charles. Let's see if he's up. Takes in Philly other places, if you ask the locals. So maybe that's a valid opinion there. First pitch he throws is shot into right field. Stringer on the run, diving and making the right of center field. Wind is blowing out. The 3-2 from Wolf in right center field, and that ball will drop between Britain and Stores. Britain is up with it, and will bring the throw to the cutoff. Some success, and he's certainly done that here today. Payoff pitch. Now a line down the right field line. Fair will get down and rattle around in the corner as Brightest makes the turn and checks into second base with a one-out double. This one popped up to left field, giving chase as Cowles. And that one will sky over the wall, Ohio State's Gavin Lyon giving up a home run here to Bridus. Two will cross the plate, make a 9-4. Off the bat, I knew that one was gone, Davey. It just had a different sound to it. Lyon challenged him low and inside with a fastball, and Bridus knew exactly what he was getting and turned on that one and into a stiff wind, blowing towards right field, able to push it well over the wall in left field. And that is Brightus' second home run this season, and RBIs for him also number two, or excuse me, three and four. So, or rather playing for the Moorhead City Marlins in the Carolinas. One and one offering, this one's hit high in the air to left field, going back it's gonna be Coleman Poge. That one's gone off the light pole in left field, and just like that, Two more runs can be added to the run total for Youngstown State, and they hit double digits now. Ten runs here in the top of the fifth inning now as Robert Winborn done great up to this point, but unable to keep that goose egg on the board, and now Tech Offense a bit more work that they're going to have to do.